Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Coffee cheers to you. And welcome to Whispers in Ink. I'm Jennifer Merle Hampshire. For those that have not been formally introduced, to be sure to say hello and tell me where you are from. I am, oh my gosh, you guys, I love being here with you guys on Saturday. It's kind of, you know, a chill way to start your morning. I will be, I have a couple questions for you, but I do have some commercials first. So, good morning, good morning to you. Now, typically on a Saturday, we do some crafting. We talk about some stuff that's going on. And then we drink our favorite morning beverage. So, I'm really excited that you're here with me today. And I hope that you are having a fabulous day so far. And crafting is always a great way to start the day. Just saying. Good morning, Miss Sue. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. All right. So, let me get my keyboard out of the way because I have some really cool things. I shared an unboxing video yesterday on my in my VIP group, the Whispers and Secrets group. Uh, but I still want to share it here with you guys because we've got some beautiful products coming up. And because I had it all in one place, I figured we'd start with that. <laughs> there is, and I shared a couple weeks ago, I think. I shared we have a new product coming. It's a pre-order early release collection. Now, the stamp set... Stamp set and the bundle are going to be in the January to June mini catalog. And then the designer series paper, the cotton paper, and the um, embellishments, excuse me, these three items are while supplies last, meaning they're not going to be available for the whole entire time. Now, if you are one that was around um, when they did this with the butterfly dies in the stamp set, you know that that designer series paper was kaput in three weeks. So, good morning, Miss Paula. Nancy, too. And so, let me show you what this suite entails, or this collection, sorry, this collection the collection includes stamp set and die. Now the stamp set is a rubber stamp set. Oh, sorry, is a rubber stamp set. But we did stamp, um, when I did the unboxing, we did stamp this. Oh my gosh, look how pretty, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? I am loving that. Ooh, and look at this, sneaky peeky. This is from the die cuts and that's this edge right here and then there's that wreath and this is a whole card front wreath you guys and then a sentiment bar here so that's let me get something that's a different color here we'll use this that is what the um edge of your card um your card front could look like how pretty is that? And you know, good morning, Carmen. Good morning, Kendra. Um, so this is brand new, coming up, available to customers on the 2nd of November. And you guys, I am going to be um, doing, for those that do get the collection, I'm going to be doing some uh, thank you PDF. So if you do get this $82 collection, you're going to get a couple of card ideas to go with it when you purchase it. Um, I'm not going to do a class because November 2nd, that's, you know, we've got the whole, um, the whole Christmas cards and Christmas prep and all that stuff going on. But if you do get this um, Gardens Eden collection, you the whole collection, I will give you a PDF with uh, instructions for three cards. All right, so... That's the die cuts and the stamp sets. But, oh wait, I have one more thing to show you with the die cuts. Here is that big 
card front wreath. Isn't that pretty? Do, do, do. Um, darn it. I'm going to put it on the back of Kim's card. So that's what that looks like. And ooh, that even looks, that soft succulent with the misty moonlight looks really pretty. So that's how much of your card front it takes up. How pretty is that? You put that piece of a ribbon on there and your sentiment and boom, you could be done. Love it. All right. So, and then I was also thinking, going back to this, I was also thinking, I really wonder what... It would look like putting like maybe putting some sparkly paper behind here and just doing that. Doing the um, the negative of what we pulled out. Because I think, and you don't, there's no stamp for that, so you couldn't stamp it. But how cool would that kind of be? Do like a glimmer paper or, um, or a shimmer, that gold, oh my gosh, you guys, the gold shimmer paper that would be really pretty and just kind of give it more of an abstracty kind of look and that way then you're not throwing this whole big piece in the trash so that was just something I came up with pretty 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 quick so anyways but let's you guys the cardstock the limited items they are yes I love that too love it all right, here is, there's a card stock. It's 12, by, or a designer series paper. Oh my goodness. DSP, you guys. The DSP is a 12 by 12 pack, and which I love. A lot of extra mileage out of a 12 by 12 then versus the six by six. One side is a regular plane, and the other side has that foil. And I know you guys can see that, but look at how gorgeous is that. So there's one, two. There's 12 pieces in here. So there's the first two. Here's the next two. And this one's all foil, you guys. Look at that one. Woo! So pretty. And that's a leaf pattern. Let me see if you can. Yeah, there we go. And it's upside down. There we go. So that's a nice leaf pattern. And this is that evening evergreen in the background, you guys, with the gold foil. And then you've got your soft succulent here with the evening evergreen as your next pattern. There's three and four. And you guys, I do not know why it is so dark in here. I have every single light on in this studio. I don't know what the deal is. Here's one of those ombre kind of looks, and I really like how they did this. I like to be able to see that. This would be really pretty on a, ooh, on a slimline card. That would be cool. And then here's your reverse side. Now, this does have foil, but you guys, it's just, and let me see if I can get it to sparkle up for you. It's just little itty bitty dots of foil on this page. But look at how pretty that is. I really do like how um, that is just so simple. Hey, Kim. Oh, Kim's got big day for the for the band for um for the band competitions today. Woohoo! All right, so here is, and this is soft succulent, you guys. Soft succulent and kind of like a white. And then here is the reverse side with your leaf pattern and again, that gold foil. There's those two. And then here's like a, kind of like our gorgeous grunge, Paula, our speckled look. And then on the reverse side of that is that really pretty um, leaf with the gold foil stems, if you will. Really love that. Oh, so pretty. It is so gorgeous, Kim. Oh my goodness. And then you've got kind of like this hash mark pattern. Kind of reminds me of the... Um, Texture embossing folder, you guys. Think about that. That's what this looks like. 
And then we've got this with the gold foil little sprigs in it. So that's the designer series paper, but wait, there is more. So at the time that I ordered, you guys, the gems were not available, and apparently they are now. I haven't gotten mine yet. I have to go and order them. Um, so there's the designer series paper, but there's more. There is what they're calling a cotton paper. And you guys, I'm going to take this out of here. I don't remember how many sheets there are. There's 10 sheets, so five of each color. So you get five of the Evening Evergreen and five of the Succulent. And this is, and I noticed it yesterday, there's a smooth side and then there's more of a rough side. I'm thinking that on this rough side that you could probably stamp. I think that would be a lot of fun. It also is very rippable and you still get that little um, edge on there that you can um, dirty up or use your sponge dauber. So, and this is something that I actually think would be really pretty. Also die cut out that big leaf pattern or that big, that big, that big, yeah, big wreath, that card front wreath and layer these two together. I think that would be really pretty. So anyways, just things off the top of my head. I did share yesterday and I didn't go and look. I did share yesterday and let me look first before I before I mention it or go and get what I'm talking about or what I'm thinking of. Let me look and see how long. Cause I'm looking something was on back order and, and I don't know if it came in yet or not. Do, 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 do. All right, apparently, apparently, let's see if anything's going. Yes, it is. Nope. All right. I'm not going to be able to check, I don't think. I was going to look to see if this ribbon was on back order, you guys. But, because I'm not sure. But this ribbon that's in the mini catalog. I'll go around and check it a different way. Apparently this gold shimmer ribbon, which is in stock, by the way, quarter inch. Nope, not this one. Not that one. Anyways, the one there is a gold shimmer that is available, and I think it's the one that's in the annual catalog. This one is in the mini catalog. This gold ribbon looks amazing with. with this DSP, you guys. I mean, like, holy cow, amazing. So there is gold ribbon that you can use. And I strongly suggest either one, because I know that they're both gonna be that same color palette. You will be solid either way that you go, because look at that, that looks so pretty together. Oh my goodness, love it. Love it, okay. Sue, so I got it. I was looking for the 3 8 inch shimmer that was in the mini catalog. So anyways, any gold ribbon on this is going to really make the gold in the in this DSP pop. Thanks, Sue. Good morning, Kay. Good morning, Miss Brenda. So happy you guys could join me this morning. Okay, so that is, that is, the um, 
Eden's Garden um, collection. I keep wanting to say sweet, and it's not a sweet. It's, it's a collection. So, while supplies last on the paper and the gems, but the bundle, and don't worry, because the bundle will be in the mini catalog, you guys. So, we'll be able to get all sorts of spring use out of it. Whoops. Trying to get that paper back in there. I already ripped it, and I actually ripped it on purpose, so that's okay. So, anybody has any questions about this, When just remember, when you order this through me, through my host link, okay, or if you're going to put in a big order, do one yourself. Um, anybody that orders this is going to get PDF for um, three card ideas. All right, if nobody has any questions about that, I have some questions for you. I have some questions for you. For you, for you. Okay, now the next thing I wanted to show you guys before I get some questions, before I get to my questions for you, I want to share with you what we did for Mystery Card Night last night. Oh my goodness, you guys. So let me tell you, let me tell you. Mystery card night. I do mystery card night a little bit different than some of the other demonstrators, which is good. That means that um, variety is the spice of life. So what I do for mystery card night is we, for two whole days, we do all sorts of shenanigans, games, and um, clues for what our theme is going to be for the month. And typically, typically it's a holiday orientated, but sometimes I throw in a curveball, like I did last night. But um, this, you get a printout. I actually do a Google document that has all the cuts. Like Mystery Card Night itself, use what you have because it's a mystery for me and I love to see what you guys have in your stash. Um, let's be honest. I want to be Snoopy. <laughs> so what we did last night, though, and the girls and I were talking in the video last night, that we are going to start doing one fun fold each month. So because generally we do two, maybe three product projects. Um, and those of you that have joined Mystery Card Night already, I love having you there. We do have so much fun. Um, but I want to show you what we did last night. And Kendra, if you're still here, tag Jay because I'm going to talk about her again. Um, and because both of these cards were inspired by friends that of mine from Wisconsin. Um, this one was inspired by Michelle Heim this card how cute is this one this one was the second card that we did and I think I can tag her because I don't think Kendra can let's see nope. oh you guys my caps locks on can't can't get what I want to get if my capsule lock is on, right? No, I can't tag her either. Okay. That's okay. There she is. Okay. Anyways. All right. Talking... Okay, so Michelle Heim is the one that gave me this card idea, um, and I've used it a couple of times. Really love the concept. A simple, you guys, simple fun fold, technically, okay? And I love, oh my gosh, this little hat idea was Trinket's idea. I love to add that little witch's hat to our little ghost. And then, oh yeah, sorry you guys, this card idea. 
Jiminy Christmas. Sorry, you guys. This card idea was by Michelle Heim, and I love this little witch's hat. That was Trinket's idea, so I was really thankful for that. And then this one was Jay Conti's um, fun fold that she did in her display, actually, I think for this suite. So we did the big tower card like that and oh my gosh we went through it step by step all together to create it so if you want to learn some fun folds but you're afraid to do them by yourself join us for mystery card night each month and have a chance of winning some prizes so i give the cuts on thursday evening so that you have all of Thursday and into Friday to do your cuts. And then our go live is um, 7 p.m. Central Time. And oh my gosh, it's always full of shenanigans. All right. I'm done doing all the talking. I'm done doing all the talking. Now it's your turn. Now you guys. I was going to work from the bits and pieces container, you guys. But my gosh, time's getting away from me. It's already the 9th of October. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Um, so I'm trying to figure out, trying to figure out if we should do the bits and pieces container or should we do um, some, some tombstone treats? Because if I do tombstone treats, you guys still have time to order them if you want them. They are super cute. So come on and tell me. So kind of a this and that. Kind of a this and that. So this would be the bits and pieces or that would be the tombstone treats. So you guys tell me because the bits and pieces, you guys, it's, it's a little out of control. And actually, that isn't even all of it. I, it's overflowing onto the cabinet. Oh, Sue says bits and pieces. Do tell Paula and Nancy. Oh, Brenda says bits and pieces. Okay. Kendra says treats. Kay says bits and pieces. All right. So... Maybe we'll do one of each because I still want to do something like this. I, I want to show at least show what's in that. But I do have, I'm going to do our disclaimer first, you guys. Doing the bits and pieces, there is always a disclaimer because the bits and pieces has retired stuff in it. So when I, not all of it. But there is quite a bit of retired, like, DSP, and there's some even um, retired ribbons and different things like that. So I always do the disclaimer, bits and pieces, has retired stuff in it. Now, we still love our retired stuff. It's harder to get retired stuff, which is why typically when I'm doing the Saturday morning lives, I don't do the um, retired stuff because if I can't help you get it, it um, kind of defeats the purpose. I inspire you to have to go hunt for it and I don't like to do that. So I think we'll do one part bits and pieces and one part treats because, Right, Kay? We all have retired stuff. Exactly. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I have, and not all of this is retired. So like we've got, that's not retired. There's pieces in here that are not retired. I really do. I kept several of these, you guys. This diorama. And oh, I got a really cool idea for that diorama, you guys. I can't wait to share that. But we got to get a little bit more into winter for that. And then I have that, I don't even remember what paper this was. But I have a bunch of this paper. And then we did blending spritzes. And there's all kinds of crazy stuff in here. This, um, 
That goes with this. No, what does that go with? I don't even remember. There's die cuts for this, and this is still current. So, and oh my gosh, there are so many things. So many, there's, look at you guys. I even have an old paper pumpkin stamp set. The months, I keep that. Because sometimes you just have to have a month, right? So I keep those, and I keep them in the bits and pieces container. Here's a white card base, but it does have some Christmas stuff on it. We might be able to cover that up. We could use that. Let's see. Let's see what is inspiring. Anybody see anything? We did work from the with bits and pieces. Ooh. 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 We did work from bits and pieces um, on Wednesday because I like doing... You guys, I like doing a lot of little things, um, whether it be little tags for um, prizes, whether it's um, we did a tag for that gift that we made on Wednesday. I like using the bits and pieces container particularly for that stuff because I can always come up with something super quick and I don't have to do any die cutting. A lot of times I have to stamp like whatever sentiment I want to use, but that's okay because we want a specific sentiment for what we're doing. So I do, I do like, oh my goodness, where did I go? There we go. There we go. Okay. So anybody see anything that looks, oh, we've even got ladybug. Hmm. Oh, we've got some pumpkins in here, you guys. Oh, and this pumpkin, you guys, this is in the um, clearance rack. At least it was. Yeah. Oh, let's do something with that. Actually, I think we're going to use one pumpkin on a card and we're going to use the other one on our tombstone. Oh, look at me. Multitasking. And look, oh, there's, there's a that one. Oh, I'm loving this. I'm loving where we're going here. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Lots of bits and pieces. See, we're multitasking, you guys. Here's some crumb cake. I even have, I even have curvy dies in here. Anybody see anything? Oh, the green. Oh, this one? That one? That one was a blending brushes technique, I think. I kind of like that, too. I like that. I like that with maybe that. And a sentiment with just some twine. What do you guys think about that? I do like that, too. Yes, indeedy. Anybody else see anything? I'm trying to go through here and show stuff. Let's see what else do we got. We've got, ooh, we've got that. That was me. See, a lot of times the stuff that gets into the bits and pieces, you guys, is things that I try that I think might look cool. So this, what I did here is I inked up my stamp, spritzed this with water, yeah, with water, stamped it and then waited for it to dry and then stamped it again so getting that background d kind of look on that stamp so it's me trying different things having fun with my stuff oh what about that not using that but what about that happy harvest birthday we could do that nice sentiment there and I wouldn't have to do any stamping. What do you think about that? Yes, these are from my pumpkin patch wood sign that I did. Yeah, that was an old one. I think we're going to use that on the tombstone, you guys. I think that would be kind of cool. All right, so do we like this? I think that we could totally turn our card this way and I can cut that six by six to cover this 
and then we can go from there. Okay, so I do see that we kind of like it. I think I'm gonna trim this up a little bit, make it just this hair smaller. Okay, and everybody likes it. Woohoo! Make this just a hair smaller. to make it work for us for what we want to use it for and I think we're gonna go four and a quarter here by five and a half because remember I got to cover up I need to cover I need to completely cover up that card front so we are gonna glue that on Maybe we need a layer instead. I think we might need a layer instead. I don't know why that's got dimensionals on it. And I think that had just jade in it. I think I have. Oh, yep, no. I have just jade. Oh, Kendra loves it. Woohoo! All right, so I'm going to go just a hair, just a sixteenth of an inch smaller, you guys, for that, and then we're going to recut this. All right, so we're going to put this. And I want to glue this because I want to make sure that this stays down so that we don't see. The Christmas parts. There we go. So just a small little reveal around the edge and you'll see that little bit of ink, but nobody's gonna notice that except for me. Except for me. And we'll put that on there and we'll put this on here. And you guys, guess what? We have gray twine, right? Oh, yes we do. We have gray twine in the essential pack. And I think we'll use that. And we'll wrap it around this, so we're gonna glue this on. I love when we have black and white paper because I love being able to do Stampin' Blends class. And that's what we did. We did blending brushes and Stampin' Blends refresher. Loved it, so fun. Okay, and then I took out that twine. Got to find the end. Hello, Christina. Was I think I was talking about you earlier. I do think so. We're working from the bits and pieces container today. I wrapped the twine just around twice. And I'm going to tie it over by our our pitcher actually I think Christina I was thinking about you but I don't think I was talking about you yet I thought about you earlier because of I think it was reading comments on something else all right so there's there's that you guys how simple and easy super cute super easy bits and pieces getting rid of the pile up oh my gosh you guys the pile up here in this craft studio right now is just awful that is possible that is very possible.
but it was nothing bad never is when I'm talking about you guys it's always good stuff all right Kendra thank you for inspiring this card my dear happy harvest birthday now this stamp set was the country home stamp set and it didn't have birthday it said happy harvest blessings i think on it and i changed out this birthday stamp too because the font was super close this actually this card was a girl's night card see i know um, so what I did, I did the masking technique for the Happy Harvest Blessings, masked off the blessings, took from the itty bitty birthdays, found a birthday sentiment that was close in size, and then stuck it on there. Don't be afraid to make your stamps work for you, you guys. It's kind of like showing the ribbon who is boss with your glue dots. So, and then we used, I think we did just a really because this is just basic white cardstock I think we did just a really light brush stroke with the um, aqua painter or aqua brush I think that would be a little bit too big Kendra I like the pods as well but I think we'll have to do something different with that I like where you're going with it though, but I think the pods are too big. So, all right, card number one, it's a bits and pieces container. All right, we're gonna put that back in here. And I'm not discounting these things, you guys, because I think I, I think I'm brainstorming the, um, the water painters, Christina. Sorry, water painters. All right. So then we we pulled out these pumpkins, and I have I have yeah. See, Brenda, you got to pipe up then, sister, because and I I try to see things. I would think that it would be super cool to have something out of it but I think all of my little parts that would be fall ish see like I have a little leaf that would be pretty but it's the wrong color and that's a retired leaf too I don't have anything that would that we could put on there because I think all the pod stuff that I have is all big. Everything's big. Ooh, got that too. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Sometimes, you guys, you just need to look at what's in your bits and pieces container because there's some good stuff in there <laughs> all right yeah i'm looking in here just to make sure we didn't miss anything that could be used in that pot and i'm not seeing anything you guys that leaf would be cute but it's the wrong color um we've got that that could actually work do I have a different color? Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, hold the phone. Hold the phone. We could do some, I don't like the, I don't like that. What do you think about that? We could snip the tip off and just glue it on so that it looks like it's inside. This is my bits and pieces container, Christina. Because, you know, everything in the studio is galvanized. Well, a lot of things, anyways. So, this is the, the menagerie of goodness in here. 
But what do you, hey Kendra, what do you think about that? I think that would totally go. Okay, I like this one. I think I'm going to follow through. I'm going to wait till you guys... Oh, Christina likes that too. Yeah. See, I had to go dig in a little bit further. Oh, Brenda likes it. Okay. All right. Kendra? What say you, girl? Kendra says, meh. Meh. I like it. So, we're going to just do it like that. A little something, something. Oh, I, you know what, Kendra? I do a lot of pulling the dried grass outside, but my grass at, at the house here, my grass at the house here isn't brown yet. I love that idea, and I've done that in cards before, um, but mine are all green. I went looking for them the other day, so sorry, but I agree with you. I think that would be super cool. Okay, so here's one. Let's, let's work on this treat container, you guys. All of a sudden, I broke out into a sweat. Gotta love it. Not... All right, so here's the tombstones, you guys. See, I have not opened this yet, as you can see. I just cut it open. And, oh my gosh, seriously, is this it? Look at that. Everything's got the 3M tape on it already. I need to get a bottom. Oh, they're probably both this. Oh, no, one's a little bit bigger than the other. One looks like it might be a little bigger than the other. So there is a top and a bottom. Easy peasy to put together, it looks like, you guys. So we're going to fold this in like this. Take off. I'm going to take your pick tool. Take this off like this. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Brenda. Thank you. And fold this over. There we go. Fold that over, just like that. Same, same on this side. So that it looks like that. Now, you could, and I want to make sure before I pull this adhesive off. I know there's a top and a bottom. Okay, we got a top and a bottom. All right. We could put a peekaboo window in here. Okay, you could do a die cut in here. I'm not going to. Um, and put a piece of window sheet in there. You could do a die cut and put it, cover it with vellum as well. Um, you'd have to run this whole piece before you put it in. You'd have to run that through the die cut machine. For what we're gonna do though, There's our treat package, our tombstone. Now, don't be afraid, you guys can cut this off. It doesn't have to be a tombstone. It could be just a charcoal colored box. So don't be afraid to buy stuff like this and make it what you want. So we're gonna do the tombstone. I kinda like that idea. And I'm gonna grab some vellum just regular vellum. Just 
just some regular plain Jane some vellum. And we definitely need to grab the daubers because those pumpkins look flat to me. I'm grabbing ink. Hang on. I'm not wanting to cooperate. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't have it out anymore. I did some wheelbarrows with these pumpkins. The This punch set, you guys, was one of my favorites. Now, remember, if you did not get this die cut, or the, not die cut, it's a punch. If you didn't get this punch, it is available on the clearance rack right now. Okay. And, let's see. Do... Pumpkin pie first. And I want to don't be afraid to ink these up, you guys. I'm gonna have to go back. I know that not the stamp set is on the but if you have the stamp set, oh my goodness. Cajun craze. And this one, we're going to just add some extra lines in here. A little shadowing on the top. Same, same. And the best part is, you guys, this does not have to be perfect. All right, so pumpkin pie. And you guys are seeing what I'm doing here. Then I'm bringing in the white. And yes, my white is old. It still works. So... And I'm going to bring in a little bit of Papa Shadow. And I love the Craft White. And you can see I did the same thing on this one. Can you see the white on there? There's white shadows in there. I think you can see that. Kind of brings out that dimension. And then, if you got a little bit too much white, like I did on this one, you can bring back in your regular color and lighten it, darken it up a little bit more. So there's our pumpkins. And we've got our vellum. And we're going to Put this one up here, and then we're going to stack these like this. So we're going to put some tape or some glue on the bottom part of this vellum, and no worries. I'm going to put it up here like it's where the name would be. And then this is where things, you guys, this is a treat holder. Don't be afraid to stack up your dimensionals. You guys, I love dimensionals, double, triple stacked. Don't be afraid to do it because it adds so much to your, and oh, I should have been doing the black ones. Let's do the black ones. Hang on, let me go get them. Move those. I'm doing the black ones because the how dark the the base part is. Okay, there we go. So we got, I'm using big ones. Single stack on this dark pumpkin, you guys, and I'm gonna put glue on the bottom. 
our happy jack-o-lantern and we're going to put this over a, a little bit not quite center and then I'm going to double I'm going to double stack this one side here and then we'll double stack this side and we'll get a little bit of glue on here now make sure that your dimensional is actually on the tombstone And yes, you guys, it does take a minute for that craft ink to dry. I think I'm going to single that one and we're going to double this side. So, bits and pieces. Love my bits and pieces. And there's our pumpkin stack. And. It needs a little bit of grass or something down here. Hmm. Oh, wait. I can do something with that. We'll put that like that. What do you guys think about that? Yes, no. Maybe, maybe. What else do we have? The only other thing that I have would be like curvy die. I don't like that. What do you guys think about that? Anybody? We could just use this and put our sentiment along the bottom. So do we like the diorama piece or the cloud piece? So this or that? This or that? I'm thinking you guys like that one. Cloud piece. Gotcha, Christina. I got the white ink, but I need to go and get... I don't know. I have that Cajun Craze is already over here. Kendra likes the lighter one. Brenda, this is actually evening evergreen. That. Okay. Okay. It's definitely the winner is this one, you guys. Okay. So, got my trimmer. And I'm going to cut it from here to here. So, I'm going to measure this up. That is three and a half. So, we're going to take this and we're going to do three and a half. And I'm going to cut... A bit of the bottom, the lighter part of the bottom off. So that it looks like that. How about that? And then I think we're going to use this ghoulish delights down here. Sorry. 
Sorry. <laughs> and I'm putting on the big part of the cloud, I'm putting dimensional so that it'll lift up off of that. But I'm going to put glue along the bottom. By the way, there is nothing in the rule books that says that you have to take the dimensional tabs off. I'm just saying. They can just be left for spacers. Oh, that's a fun idea. I like that idea, Kendra. Kendra says we need a black bat. I don't know that I have one. I have a black kitty. We could do a black kitty. I don't have a bat. I can stamp one. I have one to stamp. Actually, hang on a minute. I wonder. Because I like the bat idea. I wonder. No. What if, just so that I can cut it out, where is it? Right there. What if. Like I said, and this is just so that I can cut it out because this back of this glitter paper is flat. What if I stamp the bat and we fussy cut it out and use the other side? All right, so this is the back side of the black glitter paper, you guys. I, I think we might switch to this happy haunting. I don't know, we'll see. We will see. That's gonna take a minute to dry. So we are, I love that, see, here's the glitter paper. I'm stamping on this side so that I can cut them out. There is a spider web on here. I love that there's a spider web on here, but there's no spider. <laughs> spider web and a bat. Hmm. still really wet really wet apparently I got a little heavy-handed with the ink <laughs> now if you guys are looking for perfectly cut out bats today is not the day for that just so you know I'm trying to do this in a timely fashion and you guys know how long that white takes to dry I'm just saying two 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 All right. This little bat is so cute. Okay. 
It's not a spooky bat. That is for sure. Okay, I think. I think. Okay. Here's, oh, oh, cute. There's bat number one. Kendra, that was an awesome idea. You have awesome ideas today, girl. Awesome. All right. What do you guys think of that little bat? Cute. So cute. I do love that. I agree, Christina. Super cute. Super cute. Hey, you guys, I have to tell you a story while I'm cutting. I can talk and cut at the same time for the most part. So I got done doing mystery card night last night for those of you that joined us. And my husband came home. You guys know that were there my husband came home while we were still doing mystery card night and he was chuckling to himself and so he was telling me later that he was chuckling because he doesn't he he knows that you guys know but he didn't realize he wanted to make sure that i knew that he could totally tell how much fun we have and how much um, I enjoy spending time with you guys just by listening to how I talk. And I had to giggle because I always worry that you guys don't realize how much fun I have because I love doing this. And I know you guys are here. Yes, I know. Um... I know you guys are here, so you guys are having fun with me, but I I always worry that, I, I hope that it comes across that way, and apparently, according to Joe, the innocent bystander, you guys, that um, it's very apparent. So I had to laugh. I got you, Kendra. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with a little white ink on your fingers. I just want the outline because we're not going to use that side. So, there goes the rooster. All right. And he thinks it's funny, which makes me giggle too. He goes, there's no way that he could be, because um, I always give him a heads up, you know, when I'm going live and stuff, particularly when he's home. Um, but it's, it's, it always makes me laugh that he's like, you do what you got to do. So, okay. So there is, oh my gosh, you guys, there's the bats. Love it. All right, garbage. Yeah, exactly, Brenda. He's having fun listening, too. That is exactly it. Exactly. Which makes me, which makes me happy, too, because, you know, I don't want it to be, you guys know, I go live enough. I don't want it to be a burden to him. Because, you know, oh gosh, she's doing another video. I got to be quiet, you know. And it's not like that, which makes me very happy. Oh 
only one rooster here, Brenda. Hopefully. I have two chicks and I'm not sure. I think they're both hens though. I really, really do. Okay, so we're going to put one bat up here and we've got one bat that's gonna be over here and I think I'm double stacking this one Apparently he's, apparently he's trying to tell me something. I haven't gone out there to feed them yet. No, he did not sleep in this morning, Christina, trust me. Oh my gosh. All right, so I think I think I want to do a little bit of darkness down on this bottom. Just a little. I know I have black in here somewhere. Yeah, it stays on, but it'll work. I'm gonna do just, because there's a little bit too much white down here for me. There we go. there because you know you need to add the spooky fast factor right at least I think so oh my goodness I think it's time for a new dauber for the black all right so bits and pieces and treats we did both you guys can you believe it oh my goodness I love it when that all works out paper on the floor all right I, Kay, I'm glad that you like that. I think that that looks kind of cool. Helps kind of do the eerie factor a little bit. I agree. I agree. So, what do you guys think? Did I think we did really good today, you guys. Um, I hope that it inspired you to look in your bits and pieces container. <laughs> Because you never know what treasures you're going to find in there, you guys. Typically, there's some good stuff in there. Now, every once in a while, you really do need to go through and just, if there's stuff that you don't like, chuck it. Don't hold on to it because there's no reason to. If you don't like it, you're not going to use it. My thing is, is that, so, and I'm not talking about... I'm not talking about, I love how this looks. I just couldn't find a place to use it. You'll eventually find a place to use it, but if you don't like how it looks, okay, then you're, and I can't, because I got rid of a bunch of stuff. Um, if, you know, this may not be for everybody. I created this using um, sponge and ink pads. Um, and my thing is, is this is probably one of those things where I'm going to use the backside because I think the, the bleed through is really cool, but I'm not sure that I like this. And then I put shimmer spritzer on it too. So it's got a little bit of shimmer on there. I don't know if you guys can pick that. Oh, there we go. There's shimmer spritzer on there too. I mean, it's cool, but what am I going to use it for? So that's what I'm talking about. If there's stuff that you're not going to use, get rid of it. But if it's stuff that you're like, oh, I love this, but the, it just wasn't the right color, keep it and use it. Find something. For the, for the tombstone, those pumpkins were extra pumpkins that I had that I didn't need. So I agree. The bits and pieces stress me out too. I totally get it. That's why, you guys, I'm going to be honest. That's why I get this pile up, okay? So go through here, and here's another way to look at it. Go through and keep the pieces that are good, okay? If 
there's stuff in there that's no good, then get rid of it. Because the, the pileup is not... There's times when the bits and pieces container that I have gets too much. So I either, number one, I go through and I chuck all of it which I don't want that because I know that there's good pieces in there. Or number two, I just keep piling on and piling on until I'm like, oh, for God's sakes, Jennifer, get your big girl panties on and go through that and make up some cards like we did today. So don't stress. No, don't stress about it. There's no reason to stress about it. Just go through and whittle, whittle some of it out and then use some of it. And let me know if I can help you, of course. Because this is why I do the bits and pieces a lot with you guys. Because you guys see different things that I maybe don't. And then I know I see things that maybe some of you guys don't. So it worked out just like the bats. Just like the bats. They weren't in there, so I wasn't going to use them. But they are a super cute ad. Totally love it. All right. So... I hope that you guys had fun with me today because I had fun with you um, and I hope that I inspired you to tackle those bits and pieces. Um, I'm thinking that um, we won't be doing it Saturday, I promise, but I the bits and pieces need some more love. So, all right, guys. Yes, Paula, I will see you later. Thank you so, so much for joining me. And I hope you have a great Saturday and a great day getting craft, you guys. And I'll see you soon. Bye.